I definitely didn't want to do anything that I had necessarily seen before. <laughs> From Austin, Texas originally, I wanted to be a musician when I was growing up. And I, when I met my wife, she's an actress, and started realizing that, oh man, people actually write films. That could be a cool thing. I like to write. Did a couple of shorts. Uh, neither did too much like for me or anything, but it was good experience. And then after that, uh, The Cub was the third short that I made. <laughs> I got back from Sundance. I was just so inspired by all the films I saw and I was like, oh, it would be cool to do a Raised by Wolves story, but where the kid comes back and kills their parents at the end. And then like, you kind of think of things that kind of relate to the, the themes and morals of the story or whatever afterward. It's definitely based off of the idea that parents nowadays, they have their parenting methods. And I just think that that's so dumb because people back in like, I mean, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, like everybody, like they were able to raise their kids without parenting manuals. Like you see people and you're like, what are you doing? Just like talk to your kid, feed them like whatever they need to eat and this stuff. But you don't worry too much about like, how their brain is developing at that age. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Does that have any historical uh, relation to uh, maybe your relationship with your parents? I have a real, my parents are like still together. They live in Austin. They're happy, like couple, married couple still. So yeah, I guess it's like just the reverse of my upbringing. So it's fun to explore, I guess, yeah. Off you go. Leaving out the wolves was inspired by not having money to use actual wolves. When I came up with the idea, it really was like, oh, that'd be so cool. And then I realized, oh man, wolves would cost so much money to actually, and like, you have to have like people on set and they're around children. And I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. And then I was on a hike with a friend and I was like, oh wait, no, you just don't show the wolves. And that's kind of funny. And so that's kind of how that all came about. It's supposed to be borderline, like kitschy enough that it's ridiculous, but like hopefully straddling the line of being like crazy ridiculous. We did shoot on film, we shot on Super 16. My DP, Mike Reagan, had never like shot film before. He had shot stills. It's like the coolest present like you open the next day. It was really, really awesome. And it was because we did a Kickstarter for it. And so we got $5,000. And it did afford us the ability to shoot on film, which we didn't think we were going to be able to do originally. So being out in the woods, having a small crew, uh, going around and getting shot by shot, like it's just an exciting thing. And you definitely like feed off of that, I guess. The day before it poured rain like crazy and we were scared shitless that it was gonna be like, we were gonna have just a shoot where we had to cover everything with tarps and stuff. And then like the next day, like skies parted and everything was like cold, like magical and it was, it was awesome, yeah. I wrote a feature after Sundance called Faults that we're making at the end of the year. The feature is definitely a priority right now. We will never forget what you've done for our family. <laughs>